Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is Helton's Computer Repair here with a video for you. If you are looking to download and install a program called Visual Studio for pretty much creating codes and debugging and testing and stuff for programs like that, then say no more. We're pretty much going to be showing you how to download and install the Visual Studio 2019 in Windows 10. Now there are different versions that do exist. There's a community version that's pretty much for individuals and contributors, pretty much for open source stuff like that. And there's the professional ones for like IDE best suited and for small business stuff like that and there's also the enterprise that's pretty much scalable for pretty much end-to-end -end solutions and for teams for any size and stuff like that but we're pretty much going to get you the free version of how to download and install the visual studio 2019 so let's go ahead and get started so first thing to do is pretty simple i actually just go ahead and open up a browser i'm gonna go ahead and open up microsoft edge and what we're gonna do is go ahead and type in type Visual Studio dot Microsoft.com. I totally misspelled that almost for a second. There it is, Microsoft.com. And we're pretty much going to go ahead and select it. And it'll take us to this location right here. And we have a couple options. You can download if you just want to download the Visual Studio code version or if you want to download the Visual Studio. We're going to go ahead and select the download Visual Studio and I'll take us to their location right here. Well, hell, if I just select downloads, it'll take us to this location for here. Alrighty, so from here, you pretty much have the options where you can choose the community version. That's the free version that we're going to install. And if you want to try, do the trial versions on the professional and enterprise, you can go ahead and select them too. But we're pretty much just looking for the free download version. So let's go ahead and select it. And pretty much the file has downloaded. I'm going to go ahead and select it and open that file. You'll probably be prompted. Go ahead and press yes. And from pretty much from this point, before you get started, you need a few things to do to configure your installation. I'm going to go ahead and just X out the website. I don't think I need it anymore. I'm going to go ahead and press continue. And it's going to download some additional files that are needed for this to work. So let it do its work first. Alrighty, so here it is. It tells you want to add additional features. Cup, what you're choosing, this is the core. Now, depending on what you're going to be working on to here, like node.js, or if you're going to use like Python, these are additional features for developments that you should choose to install. There's a very big variety. One of the regular pub ones that I did for that was on Uni Unity, when I had a class of pretty much for gaming features. Office SharePoint, there's so many different features. Um, Linux development for C, it's another class I love taking there at the college that I was taking. And you get the point, you have to choose what type of additional features you want. There's also digital components. You can select them through here. Language packs, if you want them to be selected also. And also the installation is set up, but pretty much that's additional features I wanted to choose. If you don't want them, you can pretty much just uncheck what's not needed. I'm gonna pretend like I only want to have the core for C++. That's pretty much what I use it for. I don't really need this part either. And by default, it already has the core editor on there, but these are additional features that you would like to choose. And once you're done, you can press install while downloading. I'm actually going to go ahead and select install. And that is to its work. Right now it's downloading files and it's installing what additional packages that needs to be done for this program to run. And now it's continuing on the installing. I'm going to go ahead and let it do its work. Alrighty guys, so it's pretty much finishing up. We only have less than a few little bits that are done. It says 93%. Let's see what happens once it's done. 96%, 99, and it says it's finishing up. Start after installation. It probably will need to start after. Well, you don't have to. If you don't want the program to work, you can manually select it. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and see what happens once it's done. It says optimizing assemblies. And it says cleaning up. And it says it's starting up the program. So here is the Visual Studio 2019 coming up. And from this point, you get the rest. You have to pretty much have to sign in. If it forces you, um, right, it has an option right now that says not now, so maybe later. I wouldn't doubt it probably prompt us. There's different versions you want to look for. If you want to have the blue, the blue extra contrast, that's actually very useful for people. Honestly, that's very useful with the contrast. The dark version is a very popular one too. 
Uh, there's different settings, what type of developer settings you want to choose. I'm pretend I'm working on Visual, C++, and pretty much start the Visual Studio. We are preparing its first use, it may take a few minutes. I think I'm pretty much done on this, so I think I can just X out the Visual Studio installer. Uh, I'm going to see what happens once this program loads up. So here we are, the Visual Studio 2019. It says open up recent, has the codes, responsibilities, stuff like that. And you, you understand this is just the beginning of just installing this program. If you want to learn more into Visual Studios, you would have to start taking some classes and stuff like that. Or if not, you already know if you're pretty good on creating scripts and stuff like that. But that's pretty much it, how to download and install the Visual Studio 2019 in Windows 10. Thanks for watching from Helton's Computer Repair, and I will see you on the next video. Thanks for watching guys. If you just like this video, then hit that button. But if you like it and you want to see more, hit that like button. Get subscribed, comment, and tell us what other tech videos you want to see. Consider checking out our merch store, link in the video description. And for the rest, I will see you on the next video.